play Arya Flame. Opponent gains 10. We get 10 counters on our Predator. Attack you. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and you can order Commander Legends now over at CardKingdom.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. And last week, we had a Against the Odds Classics in Modern Pole, and in the end, it was Triskaidekaphobia coming out on top. However, there's a twist that we'll get to in a minute, so let's talk about this deck, jump into our games, see it in action. So, of course, the winning card on the poll last week was Triskaidekaphobia. Essentially, Triskaidekaphobia, for Man enchantment, if you get someone to 13 life, it makes them lose a game on your upkeep. Hopefully this will be the opponent, but it could be us if we're not careful. And it also lets us either make each player gain or lose a life on our upkeep. So by itself, Tristy Dicophobia can like slowly work people towards 13 life, but we got a lot of support to hopefully speed that up. However, I was reading the comments to last week's poll, and while Tristy Dicophobia was the winner, a lot of people were disappointed because the card that came in in second place Tainted Remedy didn't actually win. It is a card people have wanted to see for a long time. And as I was building the Tristanecophobia deck, I thought, hmm, maybe these two cards kind of go together. So Tainted Remedy makes it so if an opponent would gain life, instead they lose that much life. So on level one, we have Tristanecophobia, we have Tainted Remedy. We can always choose to gain life with Tristanecophobia. Well, essentially, unless we're at 13, whatever. You know what I'm saying, though? We can, in general, choose to gain life with Tristanecophobia. We go up a life. Our opponent instead of gaining that life is going to lose a life. So it's not a super powerful synergy, but when you look at the cards we want to play with Tristanecophobia, Tainted Remedy actually becomes an interesting backup plan. So one of the challenges with Tristanecophobia in a format like Modern is there are fetch lands, there are shock lands, there are dismembers, there's a lot of ways that players can lose life, and if our opponent ends up getting themselves down to like 8 life, 7 life, there's no way we're going to like Triskaidekaphobia them back up to 13, so we actually need our deck to have ways to make our opponent gain life, and these ways not only work with Triskaidekaphobia by making sure our opponent gets back up to 13, they also work with Tainted Remedy, so we are playing Aria Flame and Fiery Justice, and these cards, they do double duty in the deck. Aria Flame makes our opponent gain gain 10 life. Fiery Justice makes him gain 5 life, or any amount of life, because we can deal damage to our opponent with it, so it's any amount between 1 and 5 life we can make our opponent gain, or 0 and 5 life. But the idea here is simple. We can use these cards, if our opponent gets too low on life, to get them back up to a higher life total, so then we can get them down to 13 to win with Tristanecophobia. They also just combo with Tainted Remedy. Like, if we play Tainted Remedy, and then we play Aria Flame, instead of gaining 10 life, our opponent's going to end up losing losing 10 life. So it becomes a 10 damage bird spell. Fiery Justice the same way. If for 3 mana, we can cast it, we can 5 our opponent, make our opponent gain 5 life, they're going to lose life instead of gain it, so that's another 10 damage bird spell. So as a backup plan, if we don't have Tristanecophobia, we can just Tainted Remedy, start casting our Arya's Fiery Justice, hopefully burn our opponent out of the game in the jankiest way possible. Also, Grove of the Burn Worlds works really well with both of these plans. Uh, tapping it for red or green causes our opponent to gain a life. Life. So that is another way we can inch our opponent back up to 13 for Tristigetikophobia, and it just drains our opponent for one if we have Tainted Remedy out, which is pretty powerful. An untapped dual land that makes your opponent lose a life when you tap it. That's actually, like, really insane. So that's kind of the main plan of the deck. Because we have these life gain spells, we got one other additional payoff for this package. In Kavu Predator, just a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two with Trample, that when an opponent gains life, you put that many counters on Kavu Predator. So go back to, like, Tur 2 Kavu Predator, Tur 3 Aria Flame, Opponent gains 10 life. That's also going to put 10 counters on our Kavu Predator. So we just smash our opponent and immediately get back that life we made our opponent gain. So it's pretty easy to grow a Kavu Predator with Aria, with Grove, with Fiery Justice into like a 20 20 and just one shot our opponent. So that's kind of the main plan of the deck. To go along with our Tristanecophobia plan and also our Tainted Remedy backup plan, we have Tree of Perdition, which is the easiest combo with Tristanecophobia. Just tap it to set our opponent to 13. 13 makes them lose the game with Tristanecophobia. Decophobia and our upkeep also in a weird way works well with Tainted Remedy because let's say our opponent is at I don't know five life 
and we tap tree, that's going to put our pony up to 13 life. Technically, by the game rules, that counts as gaining 8 life. Like, your life total being set higher counts as life gain. So that means, instead of actually gaining that life, if we have Tainted Remedy out, when we tap tree, our pony's just going to take 8 from our T-tree being tapped. So it's kind of this weird tappy bird combo with Tainted Remedy. Otherwise, we have Idyllic Tutor because it can snag Tristan Ecophobia, Tainted Remedy, or Aria Flame. So it gets most of our important combo pieces. Otherwise, Birds of Paradise to fix our mana, Fatal Push, Lightning Bolt for removal, Electro Dominance is just a one-up, but the idea is we can, on our opponent's end step, cast it for enough mana to put our opponent to 13, and sneak a Tristan Ecophobia into play, so we just untap and win the game. Mana base-wise... It's all over the place. It's a ton of fetch lands, some triobes, some shock lands, some basic lands. Basically trying to make the four color mana work as consistently as possible. In the sideboard, we get a bunch of removal. Veil of Summer, Greater Ormancy to protect our combo. Some combo hate in Dappy's Fear Slaughter Games. Recipes, Ashiok for Graveyards. And that is Tainted Triskanecophobia. Four modern, life gain, drain, burn, get you to 13 shenanigans. And that's where it gets Oz deck for this week. So let's jump into our game, see the deck in action. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Against the odds time, we are Triskodecophobia. And I don't know. All right. I mean, we got a tree and a Triskodecophobia. We'll see. I mean, we're on the draw. So there are a lot of ways this can go wrong. But that is uh, that is one of our combos. The Arya, it's fine. Snow Covered Forest and... Oh boy, is this land destruction? Land destruction seems good against us. Well, we will play a fetch land past the turn. So yeah, this does look to be most likely land destruction. Snow-covered forest. Well, crack this. Grab a swamp. This is uh, definitely bad for us. Play Arid Mesa. I mean, if our opponent can blow up our swamp, we scoop. Because we're not going to be able to cast our, our uh, trees and so forth. All right. Yep. Well, sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, so we can bring in a couple of assassins trophies. So good news is, if we don't have what just happened happened, our deck uh, probably has a chance to actually pull off our combos in this matchup. The bad news is, we are not going to consistently beat a turn two Blood Moon ever. And uh, land destruction is pretty effective against us, uh, I think. So, well... Uh, yeah, might be a quick one. <laughs> All right, well, you get to play first. Well, I guess we'll keep it. I mean, the sand kind of does things if we if we can uh, cast any spells. So opponent, Londoning into Blood Moons and Land Destruction. Well, Birds of Paradise go. Snow covered for us for our opponent. And Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, well, tap land. Go. Opponent, Mountain, blows up the land. We draw a Birds of Paradise past the turn. Well, this might be a quick one. Uh, boot it. What if it Cracks it. Stomping Grounds, untapped. Blood Braid into more land destruction. Opponent gets and hits us. Yeah. We draw land. It is a land. Well, land, crack it. Grab a Godless Shrine, untapped. Oh, this is so slow, though. I did like Tutor go. Yeah, I mean, if we could have been doing this on curve, I think we got a shot. But with all this land destruction, we are, uh, we're so far off curve that I don't know if this is going to be fast enough. And it's also assuming our opponent just does nothing for the next few turns, which is also unlikely. Tap land for our opponent. Goes to combat. Gets and hits us. Down to ten. Birds of Paradise. Passes. Well, we will play... Tainted Remedy. Pass the turn. Okay, well, let's see if we get to untap with our stuff. Fiery Justice to clear the board and hit our opponent. Like, that does give us hope. We'll see. Opponent. Hits us. Down to seven. What's the follow-up? Oh, they found a bolt. Oh, dear. Well... Yeah, draws a new hand, discards a worm coil. Well, two new cards, discards a worm coil. And a ooze. Do we draw land? No. All right. Oh, that was close. Them, it was closer than it looked, I would say. 
Well, next time, I guess. All right, Chris Kanekophobia time on Against the Odds. Also, Tainted Remedy, Winterest Necophobia, together at, uh, at last, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, all right. We'll keep this. We'll see what our opponent's doing. We, we have a Tainted Remedy. Abash. All right. Well, we'll keep. Hopefully, this is like Abash Aggro rather than Abash Land Destruction. Mountain for a bonnet. Soul Scar Mage. Well, we will go over the Burn Willows. Both the Soul Scar Mage. Pass the dirt. I mean, Tainted Remedy into Fiery Justice into Tree is a plan. Opponent passing. Ooh, and Tristodecophobia. We'll play the land past the turn. Well, now we got a bunch of plans. We have a, a handful of our combo pieces. Let's see if we're quick enough to deploy them before we get burnt out. Opponent. Bulls our face. So they can light up the stage, I assume? Yeah, light up the stage. Hits Stomp uh, and Bone Crusher. And, oh my goodness, and a light up the stage. Swift Spear Flame Slash. Okay, well, we will crack this. Grab a Indithe Trio. Untap. Play Grove of the Burn Willows. Play Tainted Remedy. Go. So I assume our opponent's gonna, like, Swift Spear Stomp, maybe? Yeah, Swift Spear. Stomp. Well, as expected. Down to 14. Down to 12. Well, we are going to play the greatest blocker in the history of magic. <laughs> Tree of Perdition. Go. That should be able to hold off the... <laughs> the Swift Spear for now. I think we might be a... A fetch land away from winning next turn. Bone it. Blood Moon. Okay. Well... Now we're probably not a fetch land away from winning, but I think the tree can still get the job done. Opponent. Passes. I'll play Triskaidekophobia. Pass the turn. Opponent. Oh! <gasps> this is... This should be the Triskaidekophobia win, right? We get to just, like, tree our opponent to 13? I think? I think we got him? Opponent. Tokens. Combat. Attacks. Well, we will... Actually, let's take it. And then tree you. And then untap. And Triskaidekaphobia? <laughs> Got him! Okay. Well, uh, it worked that time. <laughs> opponent getting aggressive with Abash. Opponent drew a lot of cards, too. Well, bl bringing the Flame Sweep, I guess. Going down Electrodominance. And... Oh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon? I mean, we have Blood Moon, too. We can play around it. We just have to... Keep that in mind. Probably bring in one Assassin's Trophy. Let's go up one Assassin's Trophy. So there is some world where we can kill a Blood Moon. Well, we got the we got the Triskaidekaphobia kill. <laughs> it is possible. Oh boy. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I don't think we can keep this one lander, even though it does have a lot of cards we like. Well, okay. We got a plan, which is Kavu Predator into Arya. Does require dodging burn spells on our predator mountain soul scar mage um wooded foothills that's a that is a lot of lands more lands than we really want mountain for our opponent Mon oh boy monastery swift spear it's a lot of one drops no oh boy another one okay well let's uh, crack this grab a triome that makes green mana we are just gonna run it out i mean Odds of it getting bolted are pretty high, but what else can we really do? Well, Fatal Push. We could Fatal Push. Alright, well, let's wait then. Vern Catacombs. We can Fatal Push one of the one drops. This is still a scary spot to be in, for sure. Lava Dart. Yep. Oh, is this Lava Dart into light up this stage? Yeah, this is a, this is a really fast start for our opponent. Yeah. Light up the stage. Oh, we're we're probably dead. Into land. Light up the. Ah! <laughs> well, the triple prowess one drop start on the play looks to be the death of us. Into chaining together. Light up the stages. Stop. Come on now. Uh, lava dart sacking a land. I mean, so we get to kill a one drop, but then stomp kills this. Yeah, we're actually... All right, we're going to scoop. Well, okay, we won't scoop, but... Actually, no, we're just... We're literally dead. Okay. 
Uh, so we kill one, we take ten. We can play Kavu Predator, opponent can stomp it, hit us for four. We can draw a removal spell, kill a swift spear, opponent stomps our face, hits us for four. So, like, we are just, like, literally, sure, we don't die this attack, but there's no way we don't die the next attack. Uh, all right, well, we get to be on the play, at least, for game number three, which should be helpful. We're gonna really want, I think, a Fatal Push Lightning Bolt or maybe Fiery Justice Fire Spout. Like, some way to deal with what just happened to us. All right, we get to play first. Oh, oh. birds dies too easy. Yeah, we got a mulligan. All right, well, we will keep a opponent. Um, well, let's put a Triumph to the bottom. Well, we'll see. We don't really have any combo pieces, but we do have a couple removal spells. I'm expecting Birds of Paradise to brutally die, but we'll see. Wind swept teeth, crack it. Get a forest. And Birds of Paradise. Ship the turn. Opponent. Mountain. Firebolt. Okay. Opponent. Passing. Well, play the Triome. Pass the turn. This hand would like a Tainted Remedy. Also, being able to fetch out more basics would be helpful. Soul Scar Mage for our opponent. And a Fire Bolt. Huh. Opponent's really trying to empty their hand, aren't they? Opponent passes. No play Grove over the Burn Willows. <sighs> Pass the turn. Opponent, combat, attacks. Well, now the light up the stages come. Opponent stomps. Okay. Well, no light up the stage, at least. Down to 15, down to 13. We would love to find Tainted Remedy with this hand. Mountain for our opponent. Passes. Grove of the Burn Willows. Go. Opponent. Combat gets it. Down to 12. And there is the stomp. Well, that's Cyclist Triome. Ah, another Aria. Still no Tainted Remedy or anything. Opponent passes. Oh, play a swamp. White, r green, red. Fiery justice, you and you. Hopefully this works. Drop to 10. Pass the turn. All right, well, the board is clear. Opponent's at 26. <sighs> we have two Arias, but we can't really do anything with them yet. We need, we need to find the Tainted Remedy. Opponent. Blood Moon. Well, yep. Blood Moon comes down. We will Assassin's Trophy it. Kavu Predator would also be interesting. The issue is they're going to get this Abash. And then these Firebolts are four damage. And those are going to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Yeah, uh, when this happens, it's kind of rough. <laughs> oh, we keep drawing cards that we just, like, literally can't cast. Bone it. Pillage is one of our lands, sure. All right, playing land destruction for no real apparent reason. Fire spout, that doesn't do much past the turn. Opponent has another pillage, all right, so life is getting worse. Tree Perdition that we can no longer cast because of those two pillages. Ah, this is, this is awkward in a lot of ways. Opponent, gonna sack, well, oh, no. Opponent stomps again. Plays Season Pyromancer to draw two cards. Yeah, the dream in this one might be uh, might be over. And then a Bone Crusher. So, I mean, we can Fire Spout away the board, but our opponent just drew two. They have these Fire Bolts in the graveyard, and they have Abash coming, so I don't think... Yeah, I mean, we have to... Actually, you know what? I think we gotta play Tree. I think if there is any chance of us winning, it's going to involve this Tree of Perdition. Well, oh, pass the turn. Boner on taps. So we're going to six. Abash is the issue, though. Opponent cracks. Draws a card. Abash or just more burn spells. Plays a land. Goes to combat. Attacks. We block. Drop to six, which is double bolt range. Yeah, this was a really, really awkward draw to draw. <laughs> draw three Aryas and nothing to do with them. Uh, boot it. Firebolts, down to four. Yeah, we're just going to get burnt out here. Untap. Huh, well, we can fire spout. But this is, this is just, I mean, 
we're asking our opponent to not draw any source of damage for like several turns and we know there's a firebolt in the graveyard so opponent plays a lad so i'm not super hopeful that this actually does much at this point bonnet tap in a bunch of mana another firebolt and lightning bolt all right well they drew all the burns on to the next one ha <laughs> all right against the odds dive we are we are going uh super janky this week <laughs> jank to the max uh tainted remedy triskinegophobia together at last and together in our hand which i guess is good if this bird lives somehow we have two of two two of three basics in hand which is weird but well we'll see about it razor verge second and passes well, play the forest. Play eight birds of paradise. Go. Yeah. I mean, this could work. We could have turn two Tainted Remedy, turn uh, turn three Tristic Deck Phobia, and let the draining begin. Forest for opponent. And voice of resurgence, okay. Uh, well, play a swamp and Tainted Remedy. Go. Uh, boot it. Untaps. Well, hopefully this lives. And Tristic Deck Phobia lives. About it. Oh, it's Heliod combo. Okay. Well, that's a that's a bit scary. Although, Tainted Remedies actually shuts down the combo accidentally. All right, let's uh, let's keep the fun going. Arid Mesa, crack it. Get our one planes. Basic Tron assembled. And Triskaidekaphobia go. <laughs> All right. All right, about it. Let's see what you got. <laughs> So now we get to tick up Triskaidekaphobia to gain life, but our opponent's actually going to lose life. And our opponent's Heliods are are dead cards now. As long as we have Tainted Remedy out, opponent gets and hits us. Well, we will each gain a life, which actually means our opponent loses a life. If there's bad news in all this, it's that uh, our Kavu Predator is not going to do much at the moment. Well, we will... Tainted Remedy number two, just to make sure. Verdant Catacombs, go. I mean, hopefully our opponent accidentally starts gaining life. That would make that would make things easier for us, because that's not a May. So if our opponent has a life linker or something, they are going to lose life. Galactic Company is frightening. Stoneforge. <laughs> Can get a batter skull. <laughs> and Ranger Captain of Eos, which turns uh Wow, opponent is a tutor for everything. All right, this isn't ideal. So opponent gets to get a giver of runes and get an equipment. Sword of Fire and Ice. Yeah, opponent, Temple Garden. Can we find a way to get our opponent to 13? Down to 16. Giver of runes. Stone forges in an equipment. Equips. Well, let's crack this. This is actually kind of awkward. Hmm. <laughs> we can't get an untapped shockland or we go to 13 which would be less than ideal. So let's get a trio about it. Goes attacking. So I think what we gotta do is chump here and then fatal push ranger captain. Pony gets a token though, which is, I don't know if we install out long enough or not. This turns off the Heliod. We take zero, but our opponent gets a big token out of the deal. We draw something good. Well, let's each gain a life. Opponent drops down to 15. Well, that's a blocker. Let's play Tree of Perdition. Vernon Catacombs, go. I mean, Tree of Perdition does, does block anything minus what this Giver of Runes can do. And opponent's getting close. <laughs> down to 15. The sword is, a, is an issue. Opponent crap. Oh, what do they get? Temple Garden. Untapped down to 12. I think this means we have draws that can win the game. R oh, Ronas. Okay. Well, do we survive is the question. So if we can draw one of our big burn spells, that should be enough that we win the game. Not with Triskaidekaphobia, but with Tainted Remedy and Tree of Perdition. Opponent. Yeah. Turns out voice. Gets in, hits us down to 12. The awkward part is Tree of Perdition doesn't actually work here. 
Because it makes our opponent gain life, technically. So instead, they would lose life. Which does make it work with Tainted Remedy, but it doesn't let us put our opponent to 13. Well, crack this. Oh, the problem is we're dead next turn, too. Hmm. Well, come on, good draw. We need one of our Tainted Remedy cards. Get a Triome. Untap. Gain a life. We draw. Come on. Come on. Show us an Aria. Oh, Fire Justice. Red. White. Green. Fiery Justice. Five at your face. Tree of Perdition. Oh, we got there. We got there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, we didn't get the Triskaidekaphobia win, but we did get to see the power of a... <laughs> <laughs> of Tainted Remedy against a Life Gate deck. Uh, all right, let's bring in Fire Spout Wrath. Maybe Assassin's Trophy. Hilariously, we just kind of naturally shut down our opponent's uh, our opponent's combo thanks to <laughs> Tainted Remedy because our combo is Life Gate based. Uh, do a bit of trimming. What else do we cut? Yeah, let's cut on one tree. Run it like that. Well, okay. <laughs> That was a good top deck. That was the perfect timing. I mean, with Tainted Remedy out, Fiery Justice is just 10U for <laughs> for 3. Or, like, Kill Your Board and 5U. Either one is really good for 3 mana. And now we get a little bit of Wraths, a little bit more removal. We can kill a sword, for example. All of which seems relevant. And we can potentially grow a big Kavu Pret. This deck has a lot of weird synergies. You can see a little bit of the non-bows in that game where we, like, had Tree and Tristy Decophobia, but we couldn't actually just set our opponent to 13. So there is, like, some weird tension where Tainted Remedy doesn't necessarily work with the Tree Tristy Decophobia kill, but Tainted Remedy does work with Tree to kill, like, kind of on its own. So we just hope that we draw, like, the right, the right pieces at the right time, more or less. With Idyllic Tutor to help find the right pieces. In this matchup, though, I think Tainted Remedy is probably more important than Tristigacophobia, just because Tainted Remedy naturally hates on our opponent's life gain deck. Two Predators and a Tristigacophobia. Eh, all right, let's see what happens. Sounds, uh, sounds okay. Two Predators is interesting. We have things we could draw that make Kavu Predator insane. Uh, boot it. We don't have any removal, which is not ideal, but give her runes. Uh, well, let's... Vernon Catacombs, go. For us, for our opponent. And Voice of Resurgence. Well, crack this. Grab a... Triome. Bonin. Ooh. Going aggro. All right, down to 18. Well, play the land. Play a... Kavu Predator. Go. Uh, boot it. Pathway. And... Gets and hits us. Sure. Down to 16. Okay, so we could get comboed at any time, since we don't have a way to stop the life gain. Well, let's play Kavu Predator. Grove of the Burn Willows. Pass the turn. Yeah, this matchup is a lot more awkward when... The hilarious thing is, if our opponent gains infinite life, we get infinitely big Kavu Predators and then kill them. <laughs> so I guess in some way we still have the infinite life combo shut down. Because then our opponent just dies to the backswing. Opponent. Passing. Well, you know, let's, uh, let's grow some stuff. Our predators get big. Opponent gets to put a counter on something. Yep. But we untap. Let's... Huh, more lands. I'll play Windswept Teeth. Get a planes. Yeah, stuff grows. If our opponent can find their infinite damage combo... With Walking Ballista, then we still lose. But play Triskaidekaphobia, pass the turn. So we do need to fade... We do need to fade Walking Ballista. Ooh, nothing? Okay. We like that. Opponent. Ranger Captain of Eos. Turns on Heliod. Noble Hierarch. And passes. Uh, let's each gain a life. Opponent's going to grow the Voice of Resurgence again. All right, we need a, we need a real draw, though. We've drawn so many land. Ooh, okay. So, that's a real draw. So, gain some life. Is this enough to win us the game? Are you flame? <laughs> yeah. Opponent gains some life. We gain some more life. Kavu Predator is getting huge. 
Overgrown Tomb tapped. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Seven. Actually, hmm. Do we gotta leave one on defense? Probably. So if we attack with both, we can't. Yeah, we gotta leave one back. Let's attack with one. So Kabu Predator is 16 16 now. <laughs> About it. Takes it. Wait, actually, just kidding. Blocks with Heliod. Blocks. Okay. Blocks, blocks, protects. We do have to make sure we don't end up at 13. That would be bad. So I think we bolt the Giver of Runes, hit ourselves for one, <laughs> to throw off this Ranger Captain of Eos, Eos math. All right, pass the turn. Huh, okay. Opponent, another Giver of Runes. Turns back on Heliod. Noble Hierarch. Combat. No attack. Come on, good draw, good draw. Well, let's each gain a life. Triggers happen. Predators grow. Yep. Uh, grow for the bird willows. I'll go to combat. Attack. Oh, no, they have pat. Oh. Oh, now we're, now we're done. Seven. Yeah, now, now we're dead. All right. Yep, yep, yep. All right, on to game three. I didn't think they had the path because they weren't casting the path, but apparently they did. They don't run it back. I mean, we made big predators, but Pony had the, the proper answers and protection there. <sighs> I mean, we could have stayed on defense, I guess, but I assumed our opponent would have pathed if they could have, because didn't couldn't they have just killed us last turn? Like, if they just path our one blocker and swing, don't we just die? <laughs> so, so I kind of was not expecting the path there, because I assumed that uh, if they if they actually had it, they would have just killed us, but... Sneaky. Sneaky opponent. Well, we get to play first, which is good. Well, okay. We don't have immediately Tainted Remedy. We do have Triskaidekaphobia, and we do have a removal spell, which is good. Um, oh, our mana. So let's see. Vernon Catacombs, crack it. Get a... Both Triumphs off are white. Let's get a... Let's get Stomping Ground. So we have Bolt. Stomping Ground... Birds of Paradise, go. Well, we'll see what our opponent does. What we would like to do is just tutor up Tainted Remedy, but all right, we're definitely tutoring up Tainted Remedy. Um, or, hmm, or do we Kavu Predator? Yeah, let's Kavu Predator. That's actually kind of appealing. Pass the turn for us for our opponent. And Stoneforge Mystic gets a sort of light and shadow. We'll crack this for a Triome. Untap, white, red, Green. Fiery Justice. Two to Stoned Forge. Three to our opponent. Grow the Predator. Seven ya. Well, don't path us. Don't path us, bro. <laughs> Down to 15. One swept teeth for our opponent. The Noblest of Hierarchs. Cracks. Temple Garden. Tapped. Ooh, that's path mana, though. Opponent passes. Hmm. How worried are we about path? Well, let's go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Idyllic Tutor. For Tainted Remedy, go. Windswept Teeth. Cracks it. Oh, we wouldn't mind our opponent just tapping out. Like, I think we can win with this Kavu Predator, but it's so risky to be like, oh, game 10, and then have our opponent just path it, and then, and then we're in worse shape than when we started. Opponent passes. Well, hmm. Let's play Tainted Remedy. Go to combat. Attack. This forces our opponent to do something, because they are just dead to this predator. All right, spins Coco. Skyclave Apparition. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Okay. That's not ideal. Huh. Yeah, that's real bad. Wow, that is the blowout and a half. Okay. Oh, wow, that is not good. Not good at all. Oh, no. I thought we had it. I thought this was the one. Opponent. Sort of fire and ice. Equips. Well, we will. Lightning bolt. Get a token. Tap lad. Oh, we still have hope. There's still hope. Opponent. Pass it. We draw. Fetch lad. Not a fetch land. Hmm. So. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Temple Garden. Untapped. Triskaidekaphobia. Go. <laughs> oh, boy. 
So we could actually use Arya to put our opponent to 13? I don't know if that... Boy, this has been ridiculously close. <laughs> opponent. Horizon Canopy. Equips the sword. Sword of Light and Shadow. All right, so opponent's got swords for days. Equips the sword. I don't know if our opponent can attack, though, because we get to block and then just kill him on the backswing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This means we win, right? I think. The one color our opponent does not have protection of? Tick down? And game? Is actually happening? The illusion? <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked. Okay. Well, that double... Skyclave Apparition hit made things much harder than it was going to be when we were, like, going off and had Tainted Remedy and had the massive, uh, massive, uh, Kavu. But, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We pieced it together. <laughs> With Trisk and Agamophia Tainted Remedy. Uh, I think we got a little lucky that our opponent attacked there. If they had chosen, uh, to stay back, things would have been... A lot harder with this protection, because I don't know how we're ever going to kill that, so... Well, we'll take it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some uh, Tainted Triskanecophobia. <laughs> tainted Remedy, Triskanecophobia, jam all the sweetness together and uh, hope for the best. Well, what if fails? Crack it. Grab a Stomping Grounds, untapped, and Birds of Paradise, go. This is blue-white control. I'm not sure... Not sure how this matchup works for us. Well, Marsh Flats, crack it. Grab a, um, hmm. Uh, grab an Overgrown Tomb, untapped, and Tainted Remedy. However, there is the possibility of counters upon counters, upon Teferis upon counters. Well, that resolves. Pass the turn. Uh, boot it. Oh, it's a Bant deck. Okay, so maybe it's not super hardcore control. It's probably Uro Pile. Pony Cracks. Oh, not to fairy. Please, not to fairy. Opponent, breeding pool, adapt, and Skyclave Apparition. All right, that's not ideal. Well, we will play Tainted Remedy, Bloodstained Mire, Crack Bloodstained Mire, get a Godless Shride untapped, Fatal Push Skyclave, pass the turn. Okay. We do have a 10 damage bird spell in hand in this Aria Flame if it resolves. And we can Triskaidekaphobia. We'll see. We'll see what our opponent has. Oh my god, another one! Oh my goodness. All right. So opponent, all the Skyclave Apparitions in the West. There is, there is a bit of good news. I don't know if it'll work. We'll see. Let's go to combat. Attack you. Down to 13. This is going to require our opponent to not have... To not have a fetch land or shock land or Uro or Teferi. <laughs> but technically, they're the unlucky number. Oh, okay. Teferi. To bounce Trist to get a phobia, keep our opponent alive. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Opponent passes. Well, we will go to combat, attack Teferi. Teferi down. Triskadecophobia returns. <laughs> Phone is still at 13. All right. Um, Vernon Catacombs, go. <laughs> Come on. No fetch, no shock, no Uro, no Teferi, no Skyclay. Basically, not nothing. Oh, my God. Okay. They have Ephemerate to get rid of Tissonecophobia. We do get a token out of the deal. Oh, jeez. So many Skyclave apparitions. Good God. I mean, our opponent's probably going to need a Wrath, though, because we do have a big board full of stuff they are giving us a, a lot of illusions time warp untaps plays the land ice fang quaddle draws a card opponent appears to be passing well burn catacombs grab the triome untap go to combat attack ya another ice fang would be really obnoxious opponent pass the token we get a land opponent blocks Oh, not another. Last card's another one. Oh! Another ephemerate. Okay. That's annoying. Opponent goes to 10. We will play a Tree of Perdition. And a Forest at past the turn. Oh, this is actually kind of close, considering our opponents had Skyclave, X3, Ephemerate, X2, Teferi, Tybor. Opponents kind of had 
a pretty valuey hand here. You gonna draw another card? Well, let's see what they find. Land. Two cards in hand. Opponent passing. We draw land. Well, go attacking. Opponent cracks. Okay, just getting a snow land so they can death touch Quaddle. Blocks. Drops to six. Well, let's let's cycle a triome. Hmm. Play Blood Crypt tapped. Pass the turn. All right. What do they find? Now we could actually use a Tainted Remedy. Opponent. Passes. I'll go to combat. Attack you. Another Quaddle. Draws a card. The value trade never ends. Opponent blocks. Well, Verdant Catacombs, go. Oh, so close, and yet so far. Opponent attacks. Four cards in hand now. Flooded Strad. Passes. Whoop. Not passes. Co oh my god, Kawato number 50 draws a card. Now let's do this. Untap. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, we will play Aria of Flame. Opponent remands. Well, let's try again. Aria of Flame. Opponent draws another remand. Well, we will pass the turn. Oh no! <laughs> Does every card in their deck cantrip? Apparently so. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, that's annoying. Opponent, two remands. They had zero cards in hand a minute ago, but all these quaddles and all these remands means our opponent never runs out of cards. And now they get to Mystic Sanctuary to get back Time Warp. And yeah, this might be where we are locked out of the game now, unfortunately. Mystic Gate for our opponent. Oh, that's a that is a bummer. Opponent gonna take an extra turn. Oh, we were so close this game. We were like ridiculously close to actually to actually doing what we wanted to do. Like super, super, super close. But lots of Skyclave apparitions and lots of card draw. There's a time warp to take an extra turn. Opponent goes attacking. Gets in for a walk. Huh, okay, I guess. Figure might as well. Well, we'll block your 2 2 with our 0 6. Drop to 9. Opponent untaps. Extra turn. Eternal witness to get back time warp. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is exactly what we wanted to not happen. Like, exactly. Opponent. Time warp. Goes attacking. So now we are just dead to a lot of things. Another ephemerate. Another eternal witness. Many, many things just make us die now. Opponent untaps. To Fairy Time Raffler. Alright, so life is getting worse. Well, we might as well put our opponent back down to six. Bounces the tree, draws a card. Hits us. Down to three. Well, this is it. We crack. Down to two. Take the Temple Garden. We got one shot. We need our opponent to finally be out of stuff. And that shot is Electrodominance, your face. The one of I don't have any I don't have very high hopes of this working, honestly. But we gotta we gotta go for it. Like what else are we gonna do? Uh Electrodominance X6? Do you have another answer? The answer seems to be yes. And it's cryptic. Yeah. Well oh, we were so close there. I'm a little disappointed just because our opponent was empty handed. And from the empty handedness ended up <laughs> ended up with a absolutely ridiculous uh handful of counter spells that's that's the disappointing part like our opponent's deck is doing what their their deck does so we can't really be too upset that they're doing things but it is a a bit disappointing that that uh from the empty-handed state, they just drew into all the counter spells in the world and uh, extra turn spells in the world and were able to win. All right. Well, a little bit of light side. Oh, we were so close, though. That was, like, so close. All right. We'll keep, I guess. Arid Mesa. Crack it. Uh, Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Birds of Paradise. Go. Opponent. Misty Rainforest. Cracks it. Gets a Hollowed Fountain tapped. You know, we will play Kavu Predator. Play a Triome. Pass the turn. 
We know our opponent has infinite, infinite answers. We saw that in game one. Um, well, play a land. Triskaidekaphobia. Do we have a counter? Not yet. So that means there's probably a Teferi coming. Well, get him with the Predator. Down to 17. Opponent. Coatl, of course. Snow-covered island for our opponent. Passes. Well, let the value train begin. We will take up Triskaidekaphobia. Grow the Predator. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Well, we will tree of perdition. See if our opponent... See what answers they got. Run out the tree. There's the remand. Yeah, well, play the land. Pass the turn. And ephemerate to draw cards. Oh, this value train. This value train. How do you stop it? <laughs> oh. We've had pretty good draws, too. Our opponent just is... Oh, these decks are so obnoxious to play against. They just have so much, like, value and counters. And then eventually you get stuck in the Mystical Sanctuary infinite turn loop, which... Blah. Bone it. Considering the possibilities. We are close, though. Like, our deck is... I feel like our deck's performing well. I don't know if it's going to beat this annoying pile of Soul Herder value, but I feel like we are running well and we are doing things. There's Teferi, joining the fun. Bounces Triskaidekaphobia. Has to discard the hand size. Venser and Uro, okay. Ooh, all right. Uh, let's see if we can do this properly. Boy, if they have Force of Negation, I'm going to puke. Uh, play Kavu Predator. Green. White. Actually, green. Red. White. You, you, you. Grow the Predators. Kill the board. Hit ya. All right, opponent. All right, opponent. You need something good. You need something really good now that you're down to nine. And the predators are big. Opponent's making it hard to win with Triskaidekaphobia. But our backup plan of making big predators seems to be... Oh, oh no. They draw the land. Skyclave Apparition to get rid of a predator. Opponent passes. Now play Grove of the Burn Willows. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Play Tree of Perdition. Pass the turn. Maybe we should just grow in the, the Predator. Opponent's down to two. They don't have the green mana for Uro yet. And Uro just grows Predator. All right. Here comes Ephemerate value. Going to hit our Predator. Give us a token. About it. Passing. Well, we will. Yargle Skyclave. Attempt to get a token. Untap. And a post scoops it up. Oh, okay. Okay. We managed to pick up the win. Oh, um, well, uh, I guess we run it back. <laughs> Come on, deck. Maybe we keep the bolt. The bolt. That's tough. We do. One of the best things we could do is fizzle the ephemerate blanks. Because then if you could do it when the first one's on the stack, you fizzle both blanks, which is usually like draw two cards, kill two things. All right. We're on the draw. Let's see what this hand looks like. You know what? I think we keep this. <laughs> it's not insane, but rest in peace shuts down some of our opponent's locks. Well, that's a good draw. Well, let's crack this. Get a Temple Garden untapped. And Birds of Paradise. Go. Prairie Stream for our opponent. Uh, opponent. Misty Rainforest passes. Well, hmm. Let's just play Rest in Peace. Play Verdant Catacombs. Go. We do have a lot of lands. Way more lands than we actually want. Although three of them are Grove of the Burn Willows, which is sort of oddly a clock with this Tainted Remedy. Well, there's a Quaddle draws a card. Question's going to be, can we resolve Tainted Remedy? Because if we can't, things get a lot worse. Or if our opponent just has the silly exile any of our stuff core. Opponent cracks. Down to 15. Hollowed Vouted. Untapped. Down to 13. Teferi. Skyclave Apparition. Gonna get the rest in peace. Well, crack this. Grab a Triome. Yep. About it. Gets it. Hits us. Well, we will play Tainted Remedy. Oh, no. Alright. Well, yeah. That's not good. Opponent uh, got all the answers this game. And now we got nothing but infinite mana. 
And not even, like, truly infinite, just a lot. Opponent. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not a good spot to be. Opponent gets and hits us. No blocks. Adds an arrow to the mix. Yeah, Tainted Remedy would have been good. Draws a card. Back up to 17. Puts a land into play. Passes. No, Blood Crypt tapped. Ugh. Yeah, that Force of Negation. If we had resolved that Tainted Remedy, we would have won. But Force of Negation, working out for our opponent. Opponent plays a land, goes combat, attacks. Hits us down to nine. And yeah. Ugh. We're going to need a really good draw, and we're going to need it really soon. Opponent passes. Well, we will play Kavu Predator. Grove of the Burn Willows. Go. My hopes are not high, though. We know our opponent missed a land drop, so they should have three Ephemerids slash Cryptic slash Time Warp slash something we don't like in hand. Mystic Sanctuary does not get back Force Negation. On Thin Ice. Well, that that counts as things we didn't want to see in hand. Gets our Predator. Opponent goes attacking. Down to six. Come on, deck. Give us something good. Well, let's try again. Tainted Remedy. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Huh. <sighs> well, <laughs> we did draw something good, but our opponents just had every answer this game. Opponent untaps. Plays a lad. Adds to fairy to the party. Bounces a bird, draws a card. Goes to combat. Attacks. Well, we'll block with a bird. Man, so incredibly close here. A vote at Vaz's. We'll play a bird of paradise. Go. Opponent untaps. Takes up to fairy. Goes to combat. Hits us. Down to two. And passes. We draw Triskaidekaphobia. Well, we'll try it. Triskaidekaphobia. Oh, jeez. All right. Remand, and we will scoop it up. Oh, oh, every answer in the world. <laughs> well, I feel like our deck put up a good fight there, honestly. Like, yes, we only, we didn't win the match. We did win a game, but we were, we did good things. Our opponent just has infinite, like, infinite interaction that is tough. Uh, including the Skyclave Apparition, which, ideally one of the upsides of playing, like, Tristia Decophobia's Tainted Remedies is a lot of decks can't kill them, but, uh... This Blink by Skyclave Apparition a Million Times deck uh, does not have an issue with that, so... Yeah, alright, next time. Alright, uh, against the odds time. Apparently the world's coming to an end outside my window. We are Tainted Remedy triskaidekaphobia ing and we're gonna try this. Gonna need lands, but I mean, we got the Predator, we got a triskaidekaphobia. We have some shenanigans. We'll see. See what our opponent's doing. I mean, in theory, we... Ooh, Eldrazi Temple. Okay. I'll play a land. Play Kavu Predator. Go. I mean, we can draw... We can draw... We can grow a big Predator here, potentially. We'd like to just draw land so we don't have to Birds of Paradise, but... Also need to dodge, like, Dismember. Opponent. Mattery Shaper. Oh, my goodness. So loud. <laughs> uh, all right. That's interesting. So we will... Green... Red, white, grow the predator, fiery justice, two to matter reshaper, three to our opponent. Opponent spins into another tower. Well, we have a 9-9. Nine -nine. We hit you. Down to 16. Opponent, thought not seer. Probably has to take fiery justice. Yeah, takes fiery justice. I mean, they're going to have to find an answer to this predator, though, is their issue. Well, we will verdant catacombs. We will add a mana, grow the predator. Add the mana, grow the predator. Play Arya Flame. Opponent gains 10. We get 10 counters on our predator. Attack you. Crack. Forest. Birds of Paradise. All right, can our opponent find a way to beat a 21-21? Please say the answer's no. They can't Tron this turn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> that was not a Tristan Negophobia win, but it was a win, uh, and a pretty convincing one at that. All right, opponent's playing Eldrazi Tron. 
Blood Moon in. Wrath of God in. Assassin's Trophies in. We'll go down Electro Dominance. We'll go down One Tree of Perdition. We'll go down Idyllic Tutor. And we'll go down a Lightning Bolt. Run it like that. Well, we got a plan. We got a plan. And we got a win already. <laughs> that was a big, that was a big Kavu Predator. Um, ooh, hmm. I think we got a mulligan this. We have the tree Tristadecophobia combo, but just no mana. Ugh. Hmm. This has even less mana somehow. Well, going to five. All right. Well, in the magic gods we trust. Tree to the bottom. Blood moon to the bottom? We are on the draw. I mean, if we can hit a green source for birds, this hand's kind of interesting. Opponent, hers is mine. Expedition map, so quick Tron possible. Green source, please, untapped. Variety. Aria. Ugh. All right. Well, tap line go. Uh, opponent. All right. So Tron definitely assembled. Yeah. Well, this one might be just as fast in the opposite direction. Green mana? No. All right. Well, pass the turn. Opponent. Trons. And. And bringer. All right. Yeah, I mean. Now that can kill our birds, and there's just, there's no way we can win from there. Well, on to game three. Yeah, that one was a little awkward. Opponent had turn three Tron. We had the <laughs> one Blood Crypt that didn't actually let us cast anything, so. All right, we will play first. Let's get a good hand. Well, okay. This we are going to keep simply because we can Blood Mew. And we can actually fetch out all of our basics first. So Vern Catacombs, go. Opponent. Eldrazi Temple. Well, crack this. Grab a Swamp. Windswept Teeth. We do have to hope, if they have double Eldrazi Temple, Thought Not Seer, that's really bad. Oh my god. Okay, Mattery Shaper. Well, that's not as bad. Crack this, get a Plains. Untap. Play Grove of the Burn Willows. Blood Moon you. That should at least slow our opponent down. Tower. Opponent. It. Hits us. Oh, play the land. Oh my goodness, the combo. Tree of Perdition, go. There's hope. Hope springs eternal. Oh man. Oh boy. It might be... Oh, they have the waste. That's okay though, because we still have... We still have uh, two Tristodecophobias. Well, overgrown two. Tristodecophobia. All right, opponent. All right, opponent. <laughs> You're gonna need to find something. Put it on taps. Urza's tower. Really? That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. We got him. We got him. Taking down the hated Tron. Put it attacks. Uh, we don't care. Take our beats. End of turn. How about you? Become thirteen. Feel the fear, opponent. Untap. Click. And, oh, got him, got him, got him. All right. Well, we will take it, and a opponent scoops it up. <laughs> oh, if we're going to win one match, or uh, a small number of matches, let him be against Tron. Those are the best ones to win. Well, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about tainted Triskaidekaphobia? And overall, record-wise, in the video, we were two and three. Overall, with some duplicate matchups, we were two out of seven. Uh, so two and five with the deck. So obviously, in terms of just raw win percentage, a uh, little below average, I would say, for it against the odds deck. We're not going to win super-duper consistently, which kind of makes sense. And the biggest problem with the deck is just a lack of consistency. What we saw with the deck is like cards like Aria Flame, cards like Fiery Justice, they're kind of only good in really specific circumstances. Uh, when we have the Tainted Remedy or when we're trying to get our opponent's life total up for Triskaidekaphobia, in those circumstances, they're insane. Like they allow really crazy nut draws where we're like turn three, Tainted Remedy, turn four, Aria, turn five, Aria, you're dead on the spot for these weird bird spells. But we also had games where we just like drew three Aria Flames and never found Triskaidekaphobia or Tainted Remedy and we have the idyllic tutors to try to help smooth that out but the deck it is a little bit inconsistent and most of our cards are not really great on their own and they need very specific 
help pieces to actually be powerful. And that's also true of, like, Tree of Perdition, Tristan Necophobia, essentially our entire deck, Tainted Remedy. On the other end, we did get to see some of the hilarious upsides of the deck. Like, we played a Heliod Life Gain combo deck, where we just played Tainted Remedy, and it basically shut down our opponent's entire deck. Or imagine running into Death Shadow, or Scourge of the Skyclaves dot deck, and your opponent's, like, doing all this stuff to, like, lower their life total, and you're like, oh, are you the flame? Gain 10, wipe out your board. So it does do some really really funny things at certain times. We did get to beat Tron, which is the most important thing. If you only win one match with a against odds deck, hopefully that match is against Tron, our mortal longtime enemy nemesis. So the deck, I mean, it's janky, it's funny. We got to see the cool things it can do, like growing massive predators, getting Triskaidekaphobia Tree of Perdition wins, Tainted Remedy Burn Spell shenanigans with Aria Flames and Fiery Justices. We got to see the really cool things it can do. The only issue is, it's really inconsistent. And that's what I think keeps it from being a legitimate archetype. And I think that is also true even if you build a more focused version of the deck. Like, let's say we cut out all the shenanigans and we went all in on Tainted Remedy with Aria Flames and Fiery Justice. That's still a really risky plan because if we don't have Tainted Remedy, Aria Flame, Fiery Justice are pretty bad. We're just gaining our opponent life, making it harder to win. Uh, so I don't think there's any way to actually make the pan like competitive, competitive. But the deck's hilarious. It does really sweet, funny things in the games when it goes well. And at least in the games where it goes wrong, you lose pretty quickly and brutally to like mono red and stuff like that as we saw. So anyway, that has been Tainted Tristanecophobia. Tristanecophobia and finally the return of Tainted Remedy. That's been our Against Odds for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.